Hello, greetings from Colorado Springs. My name is Lance Scholar. I'm the managing broker of the Cornerstone Real Estate Team. Uh, today I'd like to provide you with my second legislative update from the 2024 legislative session. Um, and in this uh, update, we're going to talk about Senate Bill 094. And the title of that bill is Safe Housing for Residential Tenants. So Senate Bill 094 is signed by the governor. It went into effect on the 3rd of May, 2024. And it essentially expands upon the warranty of habitability bills that were uh, published in 2019 and 2023. Uh, some things that uh, this bill adds, it lists uh, more habitability circumstances or defines those that are changes to previous laws. And it also provides uh, new or different timelines on responses or timelines for landlords to respond to habitability issues. And in this case, for this bill, there are certain uh, circumstances that require a 24 hour response and, a, and a, a resolution within seven days. And there are other circumstances that require a 72 hour response and resolution within 14 days. And I'm gonna give some examples and talk about some of those later on. Um, it also talks uh, or defines habitability issues as life, health, or safety issues. And those uh, that are in that category of life, health, or safety are the 24-hour response, uh, no later than seven days resolution um, category. The, this bill uh, further defines air conditioning and cooling devices as appliances. Um, we haven't seen that before, and I'll talk about at the tail end of this briefing, I'll, I'll talk about what that means and, and how you should look at that for air conditioning and cooling devices. Um, the landlord, with this bill, the landlord may be required if, if they're unable to resolve a habitability issue to provide a comparable dwelling for the tenant up to 60 days. And then you, you should or must maintain all your records relevant to a claim, landlord's remedial actions, all correspondence, et cetera. So in the life, health, and safety uh, items that require a 24-hour response and resolution or uh, a fix within seven days, uh, some of those examples are lack of waterproofing and weather protection. Think about roof, walls, windows, exterior doors, um, where weather can come into the property. Any hazardous condition of gas piping or, or uh, gas appliances. So. Uh, very common in Colorado Springs that you have a, a, a natural gas fired hot water heater, uh, natural gas furnace. So if there's problems with, uh, or a gas fireplace for that matter, if there's problems with the gas piping, that is a life, health, or safety issue and uh, <clears throat> must be taken action right away. Um, inadequate running water or inadequate hot water, lack of functioning heat facilities, uh, lack of heat in the winter time has always been a habitability uh, requirement in Colorado um, and this provides again uh, further definition a 24-hour response and when I talk about landlords have to respond in 24 hours it's uh, acknowledging to the tenant that you've received their notice of a habitability issue and then you're providing them um, your next steps what actions you are taking to resolve that issue so that's what you're doing within that 24 hour time frame. Um, if there's any hazardous electrical wiring or electrical appliances, lack of electricity or disruption of electricity that is caused by the landlord's failure to maintain. So if Colorado Springs Utilities has power go out and there's 8,000 homes impacted, that is not on the landlord that Colorado Springs is working to fix that. But if there's a lack of electricity in the property because uh, failure to maintain the breaker box, for example, something like that, then that is a, a habitability issue that the landlord must respond to. Uh, lack of working locks or security devices on exterior doors and windows, exterior windows. And a lack of working plumbing or sewage disposal or leaking of the plumbing or sewage disposal into the property. There are, there are some others and they're all defined in the bill. Um, inoperable elevator, uh, lack of running water, we kind of discussed that all already. Mold, of course, is a life, health, or safety issue requiring a 24-hour response and a seven-day resolution. Uh, as is an uh, infestation of rodents, vermins, pests, insects, that's an addition to this bill. 
Um, inaccessible fire exits or egress in accordance with code is also a habitability, life, life, health, or safety habitability issue. Um, and those are the conditions that are specifically defined in the law. There could be more because there may be circumstances that aren't necessarily life, health, or safety, but there's extenuating circumstances or other conditions that make them a life, health, or safety issue. I said I would talk about air conditioning because this is the first habitability bill that we've seen uh, that has discussed air conditioning. So uh, air conditioning or a cooling device is now defined as an appliance. Um, it is you, you as a landlord are not required to install air conditioning in units that don't have it. You're, you're, but you cannot restrict a tenant from installing uh, air conditioning in the property if they request it. Uh, some conditions are applied, like they, they can't you know, make huge structural changes to the property, et cetera. If you have questions on that, I recommend you read the bill. But you can't restrict the tenant from installing air conditioning, and, but it's not required to be, for the landlord to install it in a property that doesn't have it. Um, now, with the definition as an appliance, um, essentially it means if you provide it, you, the landlord, provide the appliance, you maintain it. Um, and so air conditioning as an appliance is now a habitable, habitability condition and that requires a 72 hour response and resolution within 14 days. <clears throat> Generally, it would only be a life, health or safety issue requiring that 24 hour response, seven day resolution if it's, if it's linked to one of the other conditions. Uh, it's a gas appliance, hazardous condition of a gas or electric appliance lack of electricity due to landlord failure of some kind, or if it causes a hazardous condition, or the landlord did something to cause an issue by failing to address known issues. Um, so uh, air conditioning is listed in the new habitability bill, Senate Bill 094, um, but, uh, and, just de and it's defined as an appliance now. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you're, feel free to contact us. You can reach us on our website or at callcornerstone.com. Um, and that was legislative update number two of uh, recent bills in the legislate 2024 legislative session that are impacting uh, property management. Uh, thank you for your time. Make it a great day.